Happy Dragon Day, darlings. It's Robin here. Welcome to your daily tarot card reading for Wednesday, May 3rd. Okay, so let me shuffle the dragon tarot and then I'm going to kick off your reading with the magical unicorn deck. Magical unicorn card. If you missed it, I'm doing a theme week. I'm using the magical unicorn deck to kick off the readings. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle out here and just put that deck to the side. <clears throat> I'll do a quick shuffle of the magical unicorn and I'm just going to do a deck cut here. So family culture. This is interesting. It says to learn more about your family's stories and histories. Okay, so I'm really curious how many generations you know about going back. Okay, so I'll give you guys an example. In my family, I met my great, great grandmother, maternal and paternal. And beyond that, we don't really know too much, okay? I'm just gonna talk about myself quickly here, just an ex as a, an example. So <clears throat> my, my heritage is Irish, okay? And m most of the records associated with my family lineage got destroyed. Okay, because there was a mass exodus from Ireland, okay, and there was no electronic databases. So I think this is going to be a really interesting um, learn more about your families and, and your culture and your family stories. And let's see what the Dragon Tarot has to say about that. <clears throat> okay, so this is really interesting with the Three of Wands. It is saying that you could probably get a lot farther in your life once you understand what your families have been through, okay? Like I was giving you the example of my heritage and it was pretty bad, you know? If you've ever watched anything about the, the great potato famine and, and people being burned out of their homes and mass exodus and, um, you know, the, the slavery involved with the Irish. This has probably happened with almost everybody that is watching this, okay? And 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 being able to understand what your ancestors went through could really give you roots, okay? Just could really ground you in a brand new way, okay? So I'm really interested to know what your heritage heritage is. <clears throat> You could let me know in the comments like what's your ancestry you know I'm really interested to know and this is very interesting here too that we got the nine of cups so in the typical nine of cups you would see somebody usually they're they're pictured as a bartender okay and they're inviting all these people in so what I'm getting here for you is to really like take a piece of your home <clears throat> excuse me and dedicate it to your ancestors. If you don't have space for that, or if you don't have the means, you know what I mean? Maybe you just don't have the funds to spend on something like that. Maybe take things that you can, or print pictures from the internet, or, you know, screenshot things and make yourself a little, you can do a video reel. It's very easy to do. Just to remind you of, how much love and support that you have in this lifetime okay so and inviting them in and, and maybe doing an ancestor meditation i'm pretty sure that ken suarez has one you really need to look that up but inviting your ancestors in to help you in this current lifetime you know because i think people are really struggling right now but if you look through every era of time there's been horrendous struggles. Like if you ever watched Vikings, <laughs> you know, or the Tudors or something like that, like based on his history and the five of cups. Okay. Here's something that is so important. And I know a lot of people, they're so upset about what happened to their ancestors. Okay. But I mean, something to remember is that we all signed up for this, you know, Every journey that we reincarnate to come down here for, we all signed up for that experience. And your ancestors don't want you to be angry on their behalf. 
They don't want you to be sad on their behalf. They want you to succeed on their behalf. They don't want you to have a life of misery. You know, the five of cups is generally somebody on their knees and, you know, there's two cups spilt out and, you know, whatever is spilling out of the cups is there. And there's so much focus on that, that the three upright cups are being ignored and just sort of like not being paid attention to. And I really strongly believe from my heart that the best way that you can honor your ancestors is to live your best life, okay? So I think this was a really, really cool reading, if I do say so myself. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.